heart is a blow Shoots up through the stony ground There's no room what I like in a teacher is when they're funny and when they're serious when they have to be and they're very smart. Fun, nice and she'd help. She'd help me if I um, didn't understand like the math. I like the way my teacher is funny and she always smiles when I do a good job. If I could build a perfect teacher in class she would be like up around and making class fun and not like everybody not having fun. She would make it fun. A perfect teacher would be someone who's ultimately like professional. Uh, they know how to capture the attention of a class and they know how to motivate kids. The perfect teacher, I would make her nice and sweet and helpful. A good teacher definitely has to have patience with their kids. You know, not every kid starts off knowing something or, you know, having a passion for it or anything like that. And I think if you, you know, give them time and just kind of work with them and show them what they can do, then they'll really grow to love it and get better at it. Um, she would be sweet and funny and silly and um, sometimes strict. If I could build the perfect teacher, he'd be nice, he'd be funny, and, and he'd give out lollipops. Now that I'm in middle school, teachers, like, they help me learn new things by, they uh, give you activities to do, they let you work with other people, and, like, they let you interact with other people so you can get the uh, concepts, you can learn it easier and better. She called two people up, one person to be the lake, and one person to be the sun, and one person lay down as the lake. The way that she taught it was better because that it, the people were actually doing it. Like the, the sun was giving the lake water and the, and, and the lake was evaporating into a cloud and it was getting bigger and bigger until it rained down. One of my teachers back in chemistry two years ago, we were learning over uh, compound molecules and we were all, it's chemistry, we were all kind of, we were kind of dazing out and he kind of understood that all of us were having problems but Instead of sitting there complaining and telling us, oh, you should pay attention, he just shut the lesson down and then he said, we're going to do a quick lab. My music teacher um, inspires me by, like, if I'm doing something wrong or I'm not matching like the pitch while I sing, um, she walks me through it and helps me pick up what um, the note that I'm supposed to reach or um, whatever note that I should be getting up to. And he actually took a couple beakers out and he took sulfuric acid and another uh, chemical, I can't remember at the time. One time a teacher would like have this like thing that she would take like shaving cream and we would have to like draw the letters in it and what we would have to write about them. And um, it was fun because we got to know what the letters were. But he mixed the two of them together and it made this bright purple flame and just exploded. And all of us got really excited because we haven't done any experience, experiments like that, that insane yet. So we were all really excited and he said, this is how compound molecules happen. And he just went to in depth and all of us kind of got brought back into the lesson. They actually like made a model of something and when he would give it to you, you would have to shake it and that would represent like molecules moving. And that really helped everyone else get a better understanding what molecules were in like a solid liquid and gas. The teachers really help us learn math by um, making it fun and easy, by giving examples and, and walking around and seeing who needs help. It's good to ask questions because then you can learn more about what, you're, about what you want to know because if the person knows about it, they're going to tell you it and then you'll learn more than you, than you had known when you didn't. When you when when it, when you didn't know that question, I wonder why um, why um, dinosaurs went extinct because because we don't because nobody knows 
I hope teachers teach me how to build roller coasters and then I can go on it and I can go in the front of flips and it's gonna it's gonna go like this. And it's gonna it's gonna go like this. It's gonna twist. I wonder about how like things flow and sink. I wonder how um scientists discovered electricity. I wonder about volcanoes, how they erupt and stuff. Um, also, how like little bugs could survive in like the wild or whatever. It's good to be curious because no one is perfect and no one knows everything. You have to be, you have to wonder sometimes to figure out what you're looking for. middle school the kids seem like they don't appreciate the teachers as much but we really do and we appreciate them and we're thankful to have them. Going to school is important because you have to learn about things. In school I like writing workshop because you get to write fun stories. I really want our teachers to know how appreciated they are. I definitely feel lucky having the teachers that I've had at Jackson. I mean, they, they gave me the push that I needed. Um, to name one teacher and one impactful moment uh, that happened to me during my four years at Jackson Liberty is like trying to decide my favorite parent. It just can't be done. Um, I was lucky enough to encounter so many incredible teachers, mentors, advisors in so many different roles that have impacted me in ways that I can't even begin to describe. I know it might not seem like a big thing now, but a lot of my teachers have actually taught me more things about myself than I would have known. They, like my math teachers have shown me that I'm not as bad at things as I thought. It's okay to ask questions. My English teachers have taught me all the different things out there in the world and that you can be a different person when you read a book. Although it doesn't always seem like we appreciate teachers, uh, I can definitely say as a whole we do. Because that's, that's really that's what life is about just walking in to school every day and just being able to take in the information that's thrown at you. You know, yeah, there's a lot of kids out there who will say, oh, you know, I, I learned absolutely nothing today, like, school was ridiculous. It's, they will be sitting at home one day and realize, you know, wait a minute, where did that come from? And they'll be spinning out things about calculus or, you know, physics, whatever the case may be. And it's those things that, without teachers, we wouldn't have a future. So thank you. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You can count on me, cause I can't count on you.